God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Cause I'm about to be Hi guys, welcome to the first ever video of 2024. It's a new year, guys. I know that I'm late. I know that it's February already. I know like the year is running so fast already like i can't believe we're in february but we good so anyways guys thank you very much for coming through and watching this video i just want to say please don't forget to like comment and click that subscribe button down there it's your girl and welcome to my channel so guys please forgive me i haven't actually found something that i really feel like i'm good at so for now i'm just gonna be doing everything that i find or everything that i feel like i'm interested in until i actually find something that i really like doing but let's concentrate <laughs> let us concentrate on today's video guys so guys today i'm going to be sharing with you tips that have helped me to read the word of god and not just to read the word of god but also to understand it as well so let us get into the video number one guys first things first is you need to make sure that you have something to write down get yourself a notebook get yourself anything that you want to use to write things that you've learned or the verses even if you're going to church carry it so that you write down whatever the pastor is speaking about so that you can also just recap on what he was talking about this is what i'm using guys so it has really been helpful to me because i write down almost everything here another thing that you need to have is the big book the big papa you need to have a bible you need to have a hard copy bible guys this makes so much sense it's better than having the bible on your phone i mean i'm not saying that you mustn't have it but for some of us, it is very, very um, destructive because some of us are people that cannot be able to concentrate on one thing. So it's actually hard reading the word. Your internet is on. Um, you'll end up on Facebook. You'll end up on Instagram. So what I just use is this. Makes so much sense. And I'll have a pain. I'll carry around a pain. I'll carry um a highlighter in different colors because i love coloring um it's just something that i like doing so i just like having my bible in all different colors that has actually helped me to also remember the verses that i'm reading and also writing down helps you to remember so that is the first steps just have your books have something to write down have your bible so second step is guys or maybe a second tip that i can say that i can give is choose a time always have a specific time that you're going to dedicate yourself to reading the word of god because it doesn't help saying that oh i'll do it at this time or this time but just tell yourself that at this specific time it can be morning it can be um at night it depends on which time you actually like and which time you feel like is more um you've got more free time on like with me i've got more free time um it is so much better for me to read the word later on during the day because in the morning i'm not a morning person so i don't usually wake up early i know some people would prefer to read it in the morning because they just want to start their days right but for me it's definitely definitely at night i just want to seal the deal at night and say okay god um the day is over now we can sleep you have said what you want to say to me you have spoken to me and i am grateful now let us go to sleep please make sure that you know which time you're going to be reading the word of god on just dedicate yourself to that time whether it's two or three days in a week or four days in a week 
don't put a lot of pressure on yourself because sometimes we put a, a lot of pressure and then you end up not meeting up to the goal that you have maybe you want to read the word three or four times a week you end up doing it two times a week now you're going to feel bad and feel discouraged so just always try to make sure that you set up a time and also do it every single do it two 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 days a week three days a week it's better than nothing it's a start so that you'll get used to it it will become a habit in your life then you'll know that okay at this time i definitely need to read the word so guys choose a time make sure that you show up every single day where you made those promises write it down if you have to tell yourself monday tuesday wednesday thursday i'm reading uh, and then maybe you can do a bit of a rest on friday on saturday not like we do need a rest from the word of god but even if you are taking that day off don't forget to do your daily prayer in the morning or in the afternoon so that is the second step that or the second tip that i am sharing with you guys now on to the third tip guys my third tip is always ask god to be the leader always ask him to show you what it is that he wants you to hear for that specific day so it goes to making sure or praying before you actually reading the before you actually read the word of god so for me that's why i prefer to read the word of god at night because it just seals the deal before i actually start i will write down my feelings or how i'm feeling for that specific day or how i was feeling for the day and once i've read the word of god it will just be an answer to the way that i was feeling so which is tip number three ask god to be the leader ask him to help you ask him to give you the wisdom that you need to understand his word tip number four is this is the last tip that i'll be sharing guys and tip number four is do your research always do your research get research as much as you can dive into the word or dive into the verses by wanting to get an understanding of what is going on so whenever you're reading the verse just try to read the entire chapter dedicate yourself and read an entire chapter for that specific week so that you'll get an understanding there's also apps that you can be able to use that will help you to understand the word of god more so there is an app that i usually use i'm also going to be putting a clip right here on the screen for you guys so that you can also start using that app it helps in a number of ways like it will give you the versions the different versions of the bible um the different uh different explanations and how you can actually be able to understand it it will give you an explanation of an entire chapter so definitely guys i need to plug you guys with this app so i'll be sharing i'll be showing it on the screen right here look out for it so that is the last tip that i'll be sharing for today i'll be adding more tips on another video because i really don't want to make this video long it's my first video for 2024 so i don't want you guys to get 
board i just want you guys to keep on pushing don't forget guys read the bible even if you don't understand it ask for help from people that you know would see they know better than you don't be afraid don't be shy go for much for watching this video and once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe keep in all your old ways but it's harder on the cold day cold day never been a product of a